doing well as well. Um, what Thank is up, you. everybody? Welcome back to Zachary Reality. It is Zachary Reality, and we are here chatting Claim to Fame Season 3 with Gracie Lou. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, but I am sad that you were eliminated. I felt like you had so much more game to play. I had such high hopes for you. You were killing it with the country facade. Like, how are you feeling after being eliminated so soon? Oh, of course, it was so disappointing. And I just loved everyone in the house. So I really wanted to stay longer. And I have major FOMO. So I was so sad to leave so soon. But yeah. I'm grateful that I lasted at least past the first episode. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. How how were, how did you think you were doing with the country music act, the Gracie Lou of it all? Did you think people were buying it? Did anyone have any suspicion about you? They for sure believed me about the country thing. I will say I slipped on the little accent thing all the time because I would get so exhausted and forget to add some twangs. But I don't mm. think anybody caught on for sure. Yeah, I'm like wondering like how far would you have made it? If this double elimination and this twist of a challenge, I mean, it kind of screwed you, I felt like. It did. I mean, it was a big surprise for everyone. And I felt pigeonholed because, you know, it, it's all luck picking mm. like the captains and then the challenge was difficult. I mean, Valkyrie, that's going to haunt me until the day I die. So, you yeah. Know. It happens. It happens. So um, tell me about why you decided to pick Adam, how confident you were going into that guess off and, you know, just kind of how that whole thing went down. So I decided to pick Adam because Naomi and I had had a conversation, like trying to brainstorm the best guesses that we could come up with. I actually had the person that Naomi brought up for Adam in my notebook already. So mm. I thought, okay, if another person is kind of validating that name for me. Maybe it's a good chance. And I wanted to prove to Naomi that I trusted her, which probably didn't work out. It obviously didn't work out for me. Um, but I wanted to prove to her that I was trusting her and I wanted to be her friend throughout the show. Um, clearly it didn't work out for me. We're still friends though. All good. Yeah, yeah. No, she's good. I think she's that she good. has some people rallying around her. She has a lot of knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, I think she could be one to watch for the season, but I'm, oh, also, yeah. I'm also shocked that you went home so soon too. So you never really know what to expect. Um, mm -hmm. I love how your uncle John Cryer came in at the end. He kind of picked you up. Did you know he was coming? And like, how did that whole scene went go down? That was kind of a surprise to me like there was kind of whisperings but i had no idea that it was going to be such a funny moment with the limo and the duckman license plate but i felt just so relieved to see him and you know he's a piece of home in mm -hmm. all of the chaos so i felt very honored to be picked up by him yeah how did you think your clues represented him in your relationship and Kind of how all that came together did you think people were going to get it over time did you think it was like easy for people i had a feeling that once more was revealed about me through the challenges that naomi would know because she has such a you know close relation to me so i knew that she would get it eventually mm -hmm. but i do think people were so thrown off by the country thing and they really couldn't get the musician thing out of their mind as well so it mm -hmm. worked a little bit yeah, Let, let's get back to the country thing for a second. I loved your performance um, in the first yeah. challenge. You absolutely Thank killed it. You. Do you have aspirations to be a musician? Um, how, how did this kind of come together? I absolutely do. Um, you know, right now, of course, I have like a day job. I have a thousand jobs to live in New York City to survive. Um, but the goal is to, you know, be creative full time and make music with my friends. And I'd love to be in a band. I mm you know, write music. So that is the goal. Right now I'm a backup vocalist and I'm really loving that. So if anyone needs a backup vocalist, hit me up. I love it. Can we <laughs> clarify your your name? So it's not Gracie Lou, it's just Gracie? My full government name, hi everyone, <laughs> is Grace Louise Highland. So mm. people have called me Gracie Lou go, growing up, but it's more of a stage name. 
Okay, so it's really not that far off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, it did yeah. take a while to train myself to respond to it. Yeah, because I don't know how Michael Miguel, like, you know, I feel like that's kind of oh. clo close too. And I know I, I talked to Jada last year. I don't know if you watched season two, mm -hmm. but she changed it to Jane. She Jane because she's like, if I don't have my morning coffee, like I need that J name to make me want to look. Yes, yes. I luckily, you know, the Gracie part, I'm there. Mm -hmm. The lube is just a tag along. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what do we, why did you um, choose Jill? Like what, what about her made you want her to be the guesser? So we had like a blue team meeting and we were brainstorming all these ideas and I was adamant about bringing someone up there, but having an option for them to guess. Like I really wanted to make sure that whoever came up with me was confident in something. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Jill and I were really good friends now and we were friends in the house, but we talked and I said, girl, like, I don't really know anything about you. I don't really know what's going on. I'm so sorry I'm picking you because everyone else is like really trying to help out right now, but mm -hmm. I'm going to help you as much as I can. So Got if it. we're going down, we're going down together. So yeah. And did you think um, he, Miguel was related to Antonio Banderas as well? I did. I did. Mm. I was duped. Yes. Yeah. He's he's good. He's no, good. the first episode I thought Miguel was like going to be a crybaby and like be the first <laughs> one out. And now I'm like, that was such a genius plan with Dedrick and the way that they were yep. able to work together. Like mm -hmm. they could. You need numbers in this game. I feel like you need a friend. And if they could work yes. together, like their biggest competition right now, to me, seems like it would be Naomi, but mm -hmm. the tides will turn. Where, what do you think as a viewer watching the first couple episodes, where do you think the show's going to go? Um, how do we think it's going to develop over time? It is just amazing reliving it while watching it and seeing everything that goes on behind your back because there is a thousand storylines going on at once and you have no idea and you're so focused and stressed all the time mm -hmm. so i think that was something really eye-opening to watch and see like who is in cahoots and how everything played out in the end and i'm really looking forward to seeing how it plays out for the rest of the season mm -hmm. because obviously i'm not there anymore so i feel like i missed out on a lot of drama and all of that. And I'm excited to see what happens. Yeah, me as well. And I'm sure we'll see you at the end. Mm -hmm. So um, that'll be fun to see you again and um, kind of have the, the season go full circle. Before um, I let you go, can you tell us how you got on the show? Oh, yes. Um, they actually reached out on Instagram and I thought it was a scam at first. So I kind of ignored it. And I asked my relative, my uncle, if it was a real opportunity and he said, absolutely, it's a real show. You should go for it. Like, it would be so good for you. You're perfect for it. So I was on the phone with them later that day and, you know, went through all the interviews and met all the casting people and got the call. And I'm so grateful for it. I love that. Did you watch seasons one and two really quickly or did you not have time? I did. I like binge watched them to know what I was getting into. <laughs> And was it what you expected it to be? It was everything and more. I mean, of course, you can't expect everything. Um, and it's so different once you're living it. But mm -hmm. it was so much fun. Like, I would do it a thousand times again. And you do it again now? <laughs> I, I know. Like, I can't do it again, but I would if I could. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. I love seeing you on the show. Gone too soon. Um, we'll be looking forward to seeing you in the finale. And hopefully you give your takes as the season goes along. So where can everybody find you and follow you? I'm on Instagram mostly at Gracie Lou Land. So mm -hmm. you can find me on there. And that is my like main communication. So feel free to find me y'all. I love, love it. to be your friend. <laughs> yeah, we'll put your Instagram in the link down below. Everybody go follow. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. And stay tuned for my interview with Jill. Yay, my girl. All right. Bye. All right. Bye guys. <laughs>